If we can see the air, then perhaps it will help us answer our beginning question. How do airplanes fly? We'll start with a double-winged model in the airflow. The action of the air between the wings will demonstrate a basic principle of aerodynamics. Now, by animation, let's study the airflow in greater detail. First, note that its pattern suggests it is passing through a tube-shaped device. Next, notice that the entrance and exit of the device are the same size. We can measure the openings and find that the ends are each 10 square inches. The middle part is squeezed, creating a throat of 5 square inches. Now, if we direct smoke lines through the device, its pattern will show that something happens to the air where it goes through the narrowed part. What we find is that when the air speed is 100 miles an hour at the entrance of the device, to our smooth flow when we increase the angle of attack further. This is where the stall begins. If the alpha angle is increased even more, lift will decrease rapidly until there is total stall with a great loss of lift and turbulence so great it may buffet the airfoil. As a pilot, you'll need a healthy respect for stall. <laughs> 